I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your PS4 to a brand new hard drive. So right now I'm on the PlayStation website. So this is right here where you go. It says download now. That's how you're going to download the update file if you're on the website. You just want to go to where it says perform a new installation of system software. And that's how you get the software. That's why you get here to where it says download now. And there's a URL up there to how to get the system software. I'll also have that in the description of this video. So I already have that have it downloaded. So I'm just going to show you what that guy looks like on my computer here for the PS4 file. Uh, so you go to my flash drive here. Now you can see it is PS4 right there. And it's going to say update. And that's. And that's it. That's where you want to go and save it. So let me go do that one more time here. So you're going to create a directory that says PS4. Then you're going to create another directory that says update. And then that's where you're going to save the update file to. And this will give you the file to change the hard drive out your PS4. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the PS4 here. And so I have the PS4. I have it opened up already. So this is where the hard drive is going to be. So I'm just going to pull it out. I've already unscrewed it. And so and this is the hard drive that I have here. So this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, I put in a 2 terabyte drive. I'm going to switch it back because I'm going to upgrade to the PS4 Pro. So I just put the original 500 gigabyte hard drive in here because I want to save my 2 terabyte hard drive to put in my PS4 Pro when I get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this back in. And I'm going to go ahead and get every just slide it right in. As you can see that I'm doing right here. And there you go, it just slides right in there. So I'm just gonna pause this video for a second and connect everything back up and show you guys how this works. All right, so I have everything connected back up. As you can see, it says, can I start PS4? So I need to connect my controller, which I already have. So I'm just gonna hit the controller. And you're gonna get this message here. It says, connect a USB storage device that has the uh, latest software version, which right now is 5.05. .05. So the website I just showed you guys, that's how you go and download it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the flash drive with the software on it and I'm going to finish the, getting this updated here. Alright, so I got the flash drive connected to a PS4, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. It's going to say please wait and it's going to look for the software. All right, so I found the software. So what it's gonna do now, it's gonna ask me if I wanna erase it. It's gonna say all users data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. And it's gonna initialize the PS4 and delete everything. And it's gonna be like I'm starting it over for the first time with a brand new hard drive in it. See, it's just going through the steps right here. Shouldn't take too long. I like guess taking a little bit of time here. I don't know how much longer it's going to take. There you go. And it should be rebooting here in just a second. Alright, so there's installing the update file. So let's go ahead and let that run.
I guess taking a little bit of time here, just going through the process. It's almost about done. like it's just rebooting So it goes through a few steps here when you do this for the first time. Once it's all said and done, it'll be just like you're starting over for the first time. And it's like that's all set. So now I just have to go ahead and go through the steps with my controller. Set it up. Next. And I have my connected over a LAN. I don't have a PlayStation camera, so I'm going to skip that. I'm in the Eastern time zone. Time and date. Uh, skip all this stuff right here. These are the features I want on the rest mode, supply power to USB ports, connect to the internet, so I'm going to leave all that checked. Uh, set terms and conditions right here. And start now. Uh, that's it, I'm not going to worry about signing into that right now. And that's it, I'm all set. So, you see there's nothing on here because of this brand new start. So my next video, I'm just going to do one about how to do a backup and restore. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope you guys have a great night. Please like, share, comment if this helped you out at all. Thanks again for watching.